Today I am going to teach you how to import and use the nearby repeater function for FM and D-Star repeaters on your ICOM HT or your ICOM 705. And special thanks to Michael N7CCD for telling me the one tiny little bit of information that everyone else seems to leave out. My name is Mike K at MRD, this is Ham Radio 2. Now before we do anything, you want to go ahead and save your radio settings as they are when it works in case anything goes wrong. So we're going to go to menu, we're going to go to settings, we're going to go all the way down to SD card, we're going to go to import export, we're going to export a repeater list, and we're going to make a new file. And you can name it whatever you want, it just by default does it the date, hit the center button to confirm, hit yes, and wait for that to export. So what we're doing right now, you can see I have my D-Star hotspot set up and that is saved under memories under repeater list and I saved that on memory or repeater group 21. So what happens when we change or import a new repeater list in the nearby function because it's under DR mode and in the from section there, we can go to near repeater and I don't have anything in here but just the default will just hit all. Once the GPS is connected, it's going to search for any GPS or any rather D-Star or FM repeaters. This is just the stock stuff that's in there. We're going to put a whole bunch more in here. So let's hop over to the computer and I'll show you how to do that. So we're going to go to dstarinfo.com. I'll leave a link in the description and we're going to hover over downloads and we're going to click on repeater list downloads for DR modes radios. And then we scroll down to right here now. We can enter our location like your city or we can enter our latitude and longitude. I've not had any success uh, putting in my location. I just get an error. So I put in my latitude and longitude and just using my cell phone, I can get that off of the compass app. So I'm in 30.4241 and negative 95. Point three 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 seven. Then we can hit look up location and now you can see here it's found me. This is not actually my actual grid but it's darn close enough. Now we're going to select our radio so we can see here's all the different radios that we can use. So ID 31, 4100, 50. I'm using a 50 alpha so I'm going to select that. Now this bit right here, this is what no other video has seemed to show me, and thank you to Michael N7CCD for telling me this. Right here it says percent FM, and I was having a dickens of a time getting FM repeaters, because when I just hit download, I would get a whole bunch of D-Star repeaters and very few FM repeaters. So because I want both D-Star and FM repeaters, I'm gonna, I'm gonna download this in two different files. So I'm gonna hit 100% for FM, and I'm gonna download that. Then at the same time, I'm gonna hit zero FM and I'm gonna hit download again. And here you can see up there, those files have downloaded. Now I can go to my downloads folder and I can name these. So I'm just gonna name these uh, Texas FM and I'll rename this one Texas, uh, I'll just call them DV. And now those are saved. Now, I've already inserted the SD card into my computer. It's this one that says no name. So I'm going to copy both of these files. I'm going to go into my SD card. I'm going to click on the ICOM ID 50 folder. We're going to go to CSV, open that folder up. And then we're going to go here to repeater list, open that folder. Now you can see this is the file that we saved over on the workbench just now. Then I can right click paste two items in there and there they both are so what that did is basically downloaded a lot of repeaters in and around Texas so Texas Louisiana Kansas Oklahoma all of that but let's say you travel what can you do about that so I travel quite a bit from all the various ham fests around the world and we were just in Florida so let's go over to Google Maps and just go somewhere near Orlando and actually we can go right to here the Central Florida Fairgrounds and let's just right click that that just gave us the GPS coordinates 28.5541 and minus 81.43 
Well, we can go in here because, well, when I go to Florida, I want to know the repeaters around there. So what were we, 28, 5, 5, 4, 1, 3, 5, 5, 4, 1, 3, and 81, 4, 3, 7, 2, 2. 4, 3, 7, 2, 2. Now we can look up that location, EL98, ICOM ID50, and we have zero, so that will be the DV repeaters. Let's go ahead and download that. And then we'll put 100 because we want the FM repeaters. Now that's downloading. And then again, we go back to our downloads folder. I'll rename these and we'll call this Orlando. DV was the first one I downloaded. And we'll rename this to Orlando, except I can't type, Orlando FM. Copy both of these files. Go back to the uh, SD card, ID50, CSV, repeater list, and paste those two in there. So now those are in there. Now let's take a look on the radio at what we just did. And I actually save a bunch of these for the, the different cities around the country that I travel to. I put Dayton in there. I put Detroit um, and also Huntsville, Alabama. I've made for all of these. So let's take a look at uh, how to actually use this. And now that we have our repeater list stored on our SD card, we can go back to menu, settings, SD card, import, export. And this time we're going to import from the repeater list. And you can see I've got Dayton DV, Dayton FM, Detroit DV and FM, Huntsville, Alabama, Orlando. There's our stock configuration and Texas. So basically what this does is it's gonna kind of overwrite your repeater groups that you have and it'll kind of make more sense in a minute. So let's just back out of here before we do anything because this does affect your D star settings a little bit. So right now I'm on my own hotspot and for some reason it has 2144 memories in there, uh, but mem memory 2144 is my hotspot. When we load one of these settings in here, it's going to get rid of that. So let's just go to Texas FM and we'll import this. We'll wait for that. Then we get a message to say reboot. It says some data was corrected. I don't know what that means, but we'll go ahead and reboot the radio. And once we have a GPS signal, we can hold down DR. And with the bottom one selected, which we don't have any other option, hit the center button. And we can go to near repeater. And we can hit all DV or FM. In this case, we only have FM repeaters. I'm going to hit the center button and now it's going to search. And now it just found a bunch of repeaters in my general vicinity. There's the Huntsville repeater, New Waverly, and it tells you how far away they are and which direction they are. So that is pretty sweet. So in total, I have uh, four pages of repeaters that it found near me. So that's pretty sweet. And once we find the repeater we want to use, we just hit the center button. There it is. That's the frequency. It has a digital tone that is a minus offset. Everything's awesome. You want to find a different one, just hit the center button, search again. Now let's say maybe we want to hit this new Waverly machine. Hit the center button again. There's the frequency and with the plus offset and the tone and everything. It's, it's all right there. It's awesome. And if I want to go to the digital uh, settings, because I saved 100% FM and 100% digital, which you can mix up in the, D, uh, the D-Star info if you wanna put that FM repeaters at like 50%, and then you would just go, in that case, you would go to DV, go to near repeaters, and you could just hit all, and if you'd sta saved DV and FM, it would find both D-Star and FM repeaters, but I choose to do it separately, which gives me more repeaters stored in here. But let's say I want to just look at the D-Star repeaters near me in Texas. We're gonna import the repeater list and I'll go to Texas DV, wait for this to import and we'll go ahead and reboot again. And once we have our GPS locked on, hold down DR, hit the center button near repeater and you can just hit all on any of this. So let's just hit all, now it's gonna search. 
And here we have three D-Star repeaters near me. Brian is 48 miles away, Houston's 55, and Belleville is 66. So I'm not hitting any of those, but if I was near Brian, I could hit it. So that is pretty awesome. Now, notice I can't use my hotspot, but I still have all of my regularly programmed in and saved memories here. So if I want to use my own hotspot again, I have to go back to settings, SD card, import, export, import, repeater list, and then I'm gonna to go to this one that we saved here in the beginning. We'll go ahead and load that one in. And then I can go back to DR mode. And now I can go one click to the left, and there is my hotspot back to factory, however I, however I saved it. Not factory settings, but back to my main settings there. It's just that easy. Now for some reason, when I imported these files from my Mac, it put all of these files that had this dot underscore next to them. And these files don't work. These are the actual files here without the dot underscore. So in the previous clip, everything I showed you, I actually imported from my Windows computer. And basically, if I hit these dot underscores, it just says it's a data error and reboot. So if you only have a Mac, you will be uh, getting some extra files in there for some reason. I can't figure out how to delete them when I put the SD card in my Mac either, so that's kind of weird. So if uh, you are on a Mac, just make sure you scroll down and use these ones that are not this dot underscore. And I'll show you, let's just go to Texas FM, import it, works just fine. So little quirk uh, from a Mac. Thanks, Apple. Now, oddly enough, when I plugged the SD card from my Mac version into my Windows computer, Windows showed those files, those extra files, no problem, and I just deleted them, and now everything's good to go. Uh, but there are a couple caveats with this. Not every repeater is in here. For example, let me show you. If we click on this Texas FM CSV file, it'll open up this spreadsheet. The cool thing you can see here, we've got Arkansas, like it bring, it gives you a lot of the states around you. I don't know why Illinois is in there, Kansas, Louisiana. So kind of like my surrounding states, Missouri, Oklahoma. But when we get down to Texas and it's all alphabetized, the city south of me is called New Waverly. And as we get down here, we see this W5SAM repeater in New Waverly. But there's also a whole repeater system here in uh, the Texas area from basically where I live all the way 200 miles south to Galveston or 100 miles, however far it is, the WA5 AIR repeater systems. None of those are on here. So like those are the main repeaters in the in the Houston area that I use and they're not in here. So uh, you still will kind of want to save your local repeaters. Use this maybe in conjunction with repeater book if you're traveling uh, to find some more repeaters and program them in manually. But what a cool thing to have all of these different repeaters to be able to uh, search just with the GPS on the radio. This is awesome. So I hope that helps you guys out. Thanks again to Michael for showing me the way. And now hopefully more of you guys can have this awesome GPS repeater search tool on your ICOM radios. Thanks for watching. My name is Mike K at MRD. This is Ham Radio Tube 73.